I think it's, there's recognition uh, that is being expressed in excitement because if you think about it, AI itself in our business has been around for a really long time. Uh, now, generative AI gets a lot of attention because it's visually uh, so obvious, uh, the power of what AI can do. But in reality, AI has really been helping us in, in everyday context, specifically AI-driven optimizations and pattern detection in performance. Right? It is allowing our teams to spend more time interpreting why better performance is happening rather than uh, manually optimizing campaigns. There's been also a lot of talk about the trade-off that comes with some of those AI products mm -hmm. that you might not exactly, you have less, a little bit more automation, less control, maybe you don't know where things are going. Is that going to be a talk, pull, uh, push and pull? Always, always. So especially in our craft, as you know, uh, Group M Nexus is responsible for performance primarily. And uh, in our field, you have to resist the temptation to let the machines replace human ingenuity. Right? So our role is to constantly uh, push the platforms and our partners to maintain our ability to extract insights and the underlying causes for why campaigns or uh, components of a campaign perform better or worse. Uh, but it's not about the actual optimization motion that we need to replicate with humans. As I mentioned, we're here at CES. Anything else besides AI that's really stood out to you or gotten you excited about, about the show this year? It's a very small thing, um, but I finally saw a really interesting application of blockchain for advertising uh, in, the, in response to now uh, cookie deprecation. There is now a proposed solution using blockchain called the donut. I don't know if you heard about it. It's the use of uh, distributed data sharing to preserve some sense of data collection between brands and data collection and sharing that's directly between brands and users. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Speaking of this post-cookie world, it seems like it's, things are well, well set up for retail media to just continue to thrive. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge presence here, but I wonder if you're seeing, is there, is it, it's very crowded and there's a lot of players. Is that going to, is that going to be, is there going to be some need for consolidation and standardization or is it full steam ahead? It's full steam ahead, but not for the reasons that you think. Uh, so if you think about uh, the conversations that you've been having with partners, and obviously I've been having with partners, when we talk about retail media, we're not talking about the point of conversion anymore, right? A lot of uh, the talk has been about the use of, to your point, uh, first party data in all, in a lot of other channels, the big one uh, at this event being video, and the use of measurement to attribute the impact of those dollars back to sale. So fast forward a little bit, think about where this is all going. It is not going to be retail media anymore, it's going to be retail techniques and retail data that fundamentally changes all other media. And I am hoping that by the time we talk this time next year, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Do you see if there's a lot of excitement around shoppable everything, like you kind of mentioned, besides just retail media, you know, TikTok is here mm -hmm. pushing that. Amazon's going to be present. Are you a big believer in either social shopping or, or connected TV shopping blowing up? It, it has to blow up, right? Uh, one of the things that I think is really fun to watch though, uh, having started my formative performance career in mobile, watching kind of behaviors that are very now inherent in that small screen being adopted on the bigger screen, right? The principles are kind of similar uh, and it's being ported, but to gigantic screens now. Um, but when you think about social, it plays a, a different role. When we port shoppable to large immersive environments, it's doing exactly that. It's taking the experience and it's pointing us in a direction where it's meant to be immersive and engaging. Now with social, it's uh, taking us deeper down this path of fragmentation, but more importantly, the continuing death of mass media, right? Like it has the ability to tap into passion points, people who are like us, uh, kind of being the context of product use and uh, love. Uh, so the, it becomes so much more important for practitioners like us to be able to put all of these components together for better 
business outcomes. Lastly, uh, brand safety has been an issue for a number of years, but it seems like it's really popping up again this year, especially with misinformation, AI. Mm -hmm. How worried are your clients and how much are you trying to push for new solutions? Well, you know, my Group M tends to be uh, the Church of Brand Safety. It's one of the things that we really um, prioritize in our investment recommendations. However, uh, I, I said this uh, internally yesterday, if you are not seeing a new piece of technology and feeling a little tingle of fear, it can't possibly be that disruptive, right? So yes. when we look at AI, uh, all of the concerns now we're starting to see with, for example, IP, right, uh, and potential misuse, I think that is an indication of, in the back of our heads, recognizing how big and uh, disruptive this could be to all of our lives. So, uh, beyond paid media, you recently had some news with, regarding Amazon Marketing Cloud. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, yes, absolutely. So, uh, the partnership is really about uh, getting technology fluency at the core of what we do, not just as an agency, but for our media clients. So, the, uh, things like clean rooms, and specifically the Amazon Marketing Cloud, has been available to clients for a long time, but we feel it's still largely misunderstood. Um, so we are partnering with Amazon to provide a maturity assessment for all of our clients and really kind of deliver a very simple uh, kind of list of opportunities and where to get started to really integrate the audience data and the measurement capabilities that come with, with paid media. Increasingly, it's going to be so important to uh, do for agencies like Group M to do more than just paid media to really store uh, as much value as we can extract from every dollar in their marketing investment.